local artists have joined forces to create an interactive theater experience at Navy Pier this Halloween. Yep, they transformed the Crystal Gardens into the Garden of Decay. Mm. I stopped by Navy Pier to check it out. Here at Navy Pier, there is something new and different this Halloween season, and it's not really your typical haunted house. It's an elevated experience, and Marin Rosenberg, you are one of the co-producers of The Garden of Decay. Yes, uh, this is, I would say, much more of a immersive theater experience. Uh, there is an element of a art gallery walkthrough, there's an audio play, and then there's also a full lounge, uh, which we call the Garden of Recreation, which then allows folks to both take part in recreation as well as celebration. There's individual events that they can go take place in, activations, but also it's a much more personalized experience because it was really important for Navy Pier that we were able to bring something unique and something very celebratory of current Chicago artistic culture. That's the cool part about this is you kind of handpicked and pulled out Chicago artists who are displaying their work here and displaying some of their creativity. Absolutely, and the thing that was really fun was that we had the opportunity to sort of collaborate around a central theme, which is seasonally appropriate. It's about grief, it's about rebirth, it's about cycles, it's about change. But then we also then have the opportunity for folks after this very uh, curated experience to go in and kind of explore and do maybe more of the choose your own adventure portion. You can uh, go meet with our folks who are at Typecast and they will curate a unique poem for you. Uh, there are hand-rolled cigars, there are cocktails, there is a DJ. We have a wonderful collection on display from the Insect Asylum where you can look at taxidermy and bug pinning and learn about all these cool opportunities that of course you can engage with in Chicago on a regular basis but they've never been all in the same place at the same time. So it's a completely different kind of experience, not the haunted house scare you, come out and jump out at you, something mm -hmm. that all ages can kind of enjoy, but after a certain time, it's a, it's a little bit for older people, is that? That's correct. So we wanted to make sure we did something that was accessible to everyone in the family, and that'll be until 8 p.m. So okay. 6 to 8 p.m., any age is welcome to join us. After 8 p.m., we're just 18 and up, so that we can engage in slightly more adult uh, engagements. Yes, there is a bar, yes, there's food, yes, there's dancing, but we also just want to make sure it was an experience that folks who, even if you're sober, if you're under 21, it's a more adult experience and that you can appreciate that. And why do you think people would enjoy this and coming out here to Navy Pier for this experience? There's a little something for everybody. So if there's a part that you enjoy and a part that I enjoy, there's a new kind of connection because we can experience each other's joy together. Mm. And it's a great thing to come for as a date night. It's a great thing for a family event. It's also got plenty of space, so if you want to bring your whole crew, there's room for everybody. And one of the things we talked about was the poetry, the typecast poetry, is that yeah. what it's called? Shall we go take a... Should we try it? Yeah, let's All do right, it. All right, let's do it. Welcome to the Library of Love and Loss, where we can transform you with a poem, but at what cost? We've got these typewriters. The clicking and clacking you've heard? We can give you a poem if you give us a word. Okay, I have to give you a word. Yes, please. The word is spotlights. A poem for Sarah Jindra called Spotlight. When you shine your light, the world grows and delights find you are among them. Wow! That was so good! Thank you! Oh my gosh! You get to this, that. Is a, this is amazing! <laughs> Come check out Garden of Decay at Navy Pier, guys! How cool is that? They are so talented. I was sitting there staring at her and watching her and she was typing. Like she just did it right then. They're so amazing. The Garden of Decay will be open this Friday and Saturday and again next Friday through Halloween. Head on over to the Navy Pier website, click on their Garden of Decay under the events tab and you can get all the information there.